imagine we're going on the walls. If you hadn't know, Southampton has lots of walls to keep out. I don't know. Bad guys in the old days, I think it was. And people were attacking Southampton because... It was a device as Henry VIII's Henry device Deviceable. Yeah, she's a history buff. So if we... George's um, leading and I'm following. So this is George's part mainly. But this is where our home has been sleeping. We need to have a problem with us. Yeah. Oh, it's right. no, it's so, what I was taught in history was that Henry VIII had these three device ports across the coast of Southampton. Yeah. There's one in Hurstbet, <laughs> one in Portsmouth, yeah. and this is the third. He, it wasn't really used in that type of battle, but it was known in like the World Wars for like, being bombed. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Don't do it again. <laughs> 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 Nearly that. But yeah, there's a lot of stairs. What do you expect is going up so we don't get attacked? <sighs> this would have been where the troops stood with their cannons to fire down on the enemy below. Now you can just see cars right going past and counting. I'm just going to quickly turn around. Gonna go down. So where we stood now would have been a turret. And the next where the next turret would have been is just at the end there, and they would have another drop to go to the, like the castle, if you will. That where the um guild hall technically was, mm -hmm. which was to keep um I think it was prisoners and Yeah. It's because of ancient. But it was mainly like the bar gate held prisoners enemies of the county of the city and they held like information as well didn't they? Fun fact, not fun but it's still a fact, the, that 18 suicides jump from that bridge there every year. So fun. Welcome to Studentsville. And also you'll just destroy somebody's life. Yeah. Not your own, not just families, no. strangers. No, even a stranger, so. Call the suicide helpline if you need help. I mean, I wouldn't call the suicide helpline, but you should. Oh, there's this um, statue of a dude here. I think it's supposed to be like a watchman or something, isn't he? Yeah, there's supposedly a ghost that haunts the bridge, so it might be in. Don't even. I'm not, I've been- You know, it freaks me. John Lee Fleming, the mayor, the mayor of Southampton. Southampton. Oh, same age as Jeffwood. Sorry, 1991. <laughs> and it's all, I think it's the same age as, it's about a year older than Nick Jonas. Oh. Got to put another fact out there. But yeah, so supposedly, Nick. about the ghost, he supposedly walks this length every night from about one o'clock. Yeah. So he will just pace up and down as if he's watching for something. Yeah, probably make sure we're not getting bombed or attacked. Yeah, people seem to, t people tend to think that he's from the time of Henry VIII, but that is largely, largely disproven. They think he might be from World War One or World War Two, watching to see if there are any German spies. Mm -hmm. That. Well. My mum had her fortieth birthday mm -hmm. at um, one of the historic, mm -hmm. one of the, at one of the historical pubs around here. Mm -hmm. And it was like so haunted. It was Town walls. After the French attack Southampton in 1338, King Edward III commanded, commanded a huge wall be built around the tower town. overlooking the city. He was furious that the townspeople had allowed raiders to so easily attack and steal his wine and guns. I'm getting the other information here as well. Yeah, I'm getting all the information here. Uh, I'm just getting the two bits of information. Right. So, is that it for our walls? Uh, this is the end of the walls. Yeah. Bye. Bye, Bye. Georgia. Bye.